Good morning, everybody. Um, don't ask me what day it is, because I don't know. I think it's Wednesday. Is it? I think. Um, the days are all blending into one, you know. Not going out, not doing anything. I've got my pyjamas on, because I've only just got up. So I thought I would do my makeup. I haven't done it for a long time. And um, I was watching an old video, I don't know if it was an old one actually, I was watching a video of um, Hungry Fat Chick and um, she, I quite like her, you know, but um, despite her size and everything, got a, a personality I like, um, but she was doing her makeup from first thing in the morning, I don't, don't remember now which one it was, it's the um, thumbnail is where there's a picture of her with no makeup on, looking like me, like death warmed up. But um, she was literally putting the makeup on and with really harsh across her face, and um, as though she was really hating her face, you know, as though her, her face was the enemy instead of a palette to do some, you know, little bit of artwork on. So, and she had her hair all in her face, a fringe and her, her hair, and it, that was triggering me. But um, anyway, she didn't speak throughout, um, nothing at all. Did she have music on? I don't know whether she had music on, but she didn't speak. She did it all in silence, which... I find, I'd find that difficult to do. <laughs> so should we get cracking and see what I can do with myself? I've laid some of my stuff out here so I'm not going to be all over the place doing it. And um, got my little mirror there, should I need it? Okay. And my lines. Fill them in a bit. As I say, I've only just got up and I tend now to sleep when I first go to bed. Um, it takes a little while and I nod off and I sleep for about three hours and that's it. That's all I get. So I am really, really tired, but then again, I can't. I just can't. This is um, the instance eraser um, Maybelline I've got some more in there I can't run out of that um, put, um, put two different mascaras on because it'll work better and I just do about 20 strokes each side with this one and then 20 strokes the other side with the other one later on so what's been going on um I see that the tears that Pudi Beauty has started, she had to um, abandon them because um, somebody had got the link. And so the tear that was supposed to be really private and intimate, that the subs were paying $30 each for a month, every month, not an annual annual subscription, a monthly subscription. Um, this is water feeling, and it's like the CC spring thing. And I, I love this, I'll show you. I've got another one, I've got a few of them actually. So that's it. And it comes with... Do you 
put our little applicator come on that's it and it's very light very light you don't even feel that you've got anything on your face really and it just you know it doesn't give you a lot of cover but it's um I like the feel of it it's like velvet anyway going back to Fluidy Beauty Chantal she had to abandon the tears so they all got to have a refund and so YouTube aren't going to be happy about that with all the messing about um, she's not quite sure what she's going to do now whether she's just going to have one tear or whether she's going to have two she can't seem to work out how to do it so it's all completely private but it was funny because um, she was saying to them on that night we'd started the other night she was saying um I'll only ever be um, totally honest with you. Um, I can't do this normally, with the, even with the bees that I've got, the 4 99 ones, because um, I don't know how loyal they are. So you see, Chantal ma ma uh, measures loyalty by how much money you've got and how much you're willing to spend on her. Not much measure of loyalty, is it? Um, I think this is almost empty, actually. That's it. Um, so that was that, and um, so I don't know what she's going to do. But the reason it was funny was because um, when she was saying to them that um, I can only trust you, because even like with the ordinary visas, the subscribers and everybody see what's, sees what's on my channel, blah, blah, blah. I can't um, be absolutely convinced that um, they're not going to take things too far and use things against me. The stories, apparently, all the stories that she's got. But the funny thing was, she was saying it, one of the... Um, Elite visas, the thirty dollar a month visas, said to Chantal, um, "You bought your boyfriend a laptop, a new laptop. Um, they're about fifteen hundred dollars, I believe. The one he's got to two thousand, more like." Um, and she said. No, I didn't buy anything for him. You know, that's that's his business. I didn't buy anything for him. And then one of the uh, $30 visas put up a video link showing Nada, um, who was on film showing the uh, uh, laptop and saying um, it was a gift from Chantal for Christmas. And thank you very much, Chantal. No, we're not in a relationship. We're just friends. And it was very nice thought of her to buy me this gift. So when confronted with that, Chantal had to back down. And um, she said, this is the other mascara. It's just um, wonderful by Rimmel. Um, so she had to back down and she said, well, yes, I did. I just didn't really want everybody to know about it at the moment. I'm not um, certain how secure this link is. So right away, she was caught out in a lie. You can't believe a word that comes out of that woman's mouth. And you can actually sometimes, when she's on these story times, you can actually see her thinking about what she's going to say next. Um, 
if you've ever watched Body Language, it is fascinating. I mean, I'm, you can't say for definitively, but there are some things that give you a pointer to whether a person is telling the truth or not. And my God, there's pointers all over Chantel. You know, this way, that way, this way, up, down. And um, she's not a very honest person at all. She isn't. Um, doing that like that. So I'm going to use some um, rouge blusher, and it's Revlon Photo Ready, and it's just a cream. As I say, I, I don't mind using my fingers, but when I do, I'm very gentle with myself. I always am, um, but Hungry Fat Chick was really having a go at her face, she, she was, as though she hated herself. Um, yeah, so you, you can't believe a word that comes out of Foodie's mouth, to be honest. Um, so what's next to that? Well, as I predicted, what's next to that is going to be um, either she gets this link sorted out or she um, goes onto, you, onto OnlyFans and she makes a channel there and that channel will be For anybody who's willing to pay, you can charge anything between, I think it's four ninety nine and forty nine ninety nine to be a member on there. Um, so she'll probably go like we've round about the thirty mark again, and um, and then, as I predicted what will happen is that where did I just put that brush? I use this for everything and then I predict that Nada will be involved with the directing because he knows, he's a real man, he knows what men like and Chantal will be there humiliating herself for money and taking requests you know like I said to you that um, similar to being in um, a strip club not that I've ever been to one but um, but similar to being in a strip club and um, did I tell you what that was I just used? It was um, It is Miracle Glow Universal Highlighter I'm coming to the end of that, I've got some more and then I've done that on my cheeks and just on my brow, a little bit on my nose there and then I'm going to use this, which is Wet and Wild Highlighter, just on my cheeks. And I'm going to use an angled brush for that. So I predict that she's going to have an OnlyFans channel. Probably charge $30 or $40 membership. And she'll make them, will they? She definitely will. Um, you get all sorts on there. You know, you'll be men. There'll be men who are willing to pay the forty-nine or thirty a month subscription, and then are willing to pay on top of that um, for a private viewing of Chantal in their private little room that they've got 
which means the video will be put on private and none of us will see it. Um, not that we want to. Um, but I think that Chantal is going to further humiliate herself a lot. And um, aren't these stupid little things? Can't stand them. So this is Big Eyes, again by Maybelline. I'm going to use that. Um, and that's what she'll do. She'll have, um, say, $30 a month membership from everybody. And then she will take private requests. And I'll leave that up to your imagination. And as she's been saying now, on and off, and I think it's just to get us used to the idea, really. She's been dropping hints about, um, you know, streaming in her underwear. Where, I mean, <laughs> she's done it. But I mean, I think she means in a more, a more um, blatant manner. And she definitely will make some money. Could I do it? No. <laughs> Not even when I was young and beautiful. No. I did a lot of things. But nothing like that. A lot of things I regret. A lot, and I think that, to be on honest with you, you know, some of that is the reason that um, I have these sleepless nights, all the remorse and guilt, and and looking at some of them on YouTube, I'm thinking, well, why am I feeling all this guilt over? You know, it, it was just uh, no, I don't know. No, it wasn't normal. But it was part of my growing up period and um, it went on for a long time and I won't forgive myself ever for it. Um, I mean, the kids were sort of in their late teens and everything. And when I went to Saudi, 20s. But it's stuff I regret and nothing I can do about it except dropping things all over the place. Nothing I can do except live with it. And what I'm saying now to what I say, would say to Chantal about what she's doing, they're making a point in her life, they may, when um, she's going to be regretting the things that she's done and the things that she's done up to now are pretty bad. You know, when she tells her some of her stories and I'm, I cringe. Um, why would she do this? Why would she put herself through stuff? This is an Avon Avon True Colour liner. Um, she's going to suffer for it. She's going to, if she's got any anything any good in her, she will suffer for it. This is um, Revolution Translucent Baking Powder, and I just wallop that a bit on with a different brush. Okay, so in a minute. Not going anywhere, so I'm not being.
Um, I mean, she's 37 now, and um, what she got, she's got a big income from YouTube, she's got a man who is saying that he can't stand her, has called her all sorts of names. has given her gonorrhea. He apparently flicked an, a lighted cigarette at her, whether that's true, I don't know. I mean, the ring, the engagement ring she bought herself and told us it was an engagement ring. He was denying it was an engagement ring. She said she bought it. Nada told her to get it and then he would pay it. And formally give it to her. But of course that's just um Garnier soothing miss miss uh, um to hydrate, refresh and soothe rose for dry and sensitive skin. I'm sensitive. So that's where we stand with Chantal and Chantal's story and it's gonna be, you know All, all systems go when she she gets this OnlyFans channel going. And you can bet as well, Kiwi Farms will have the link. Because I'm sure they've got enough funding there for somebody to go in and pay the forty nine ninety nine on behalf of the farms and um leave the link. So she's gonna have to be very careful also about um what she does in these private chat rooms. Because even though she thinks it's secure, nothing is secure. This is Rimmel again, and it's just a bronzer. That brush I just used. So Nada was be uh, in bed the other day when she said she's got a video up um, making soup for a sick friend. So, you know, you know she hasn't really got any friends, so it was him. And she went round and she made this soup. <laughs> Actually, if you watch this, Chantal, I've got, so I've got um, on my playlist, I've got um, soups and smoothies you might want to have a look we can make him a lentil soup he likes lentil he said but um she went round and she made him this soup and she was so happy sitting there you know gets me as well because um she does this all the time she'll just a minute guys and she'll go and she'll go into the bathroom and she'll be about 10 minutes or she'll go and she'll do the washing up and be about 10 minutes. And all the time, the camera is running, you know, bringing all this income into her when she's not even on camera. I'm going to use this. It's a new one. It's called Kiss Me Coral. Rimmel, again. Hmm.
it's predictable now because prior to all this going on, when she's no, no longer together, he says, well, prior to that, when they were together, what she was doing was at his house on the night, none of the bees has liked it. But then she would do um, a bees in the car on the way home and get junk food on the way home. And there was nothing from her last night. So I guess she was her Egyptian king. And um, I'm not going to end well. I just want some decent lipstick earrings. Put my hair back. Come here. So you know, just what I accused Chantal of doing, I've done and left you while I sorted a pair of earrings out. Some different ones. There's the hole. Coming all right. That one's gone in. See them, can you? I'll put my hair up. It's um, oh, I don't know why it wouldn't go on. I've got the back on it. Oh, and you're gormless. There you go. back on it it wouldn't go in wouldn't go through right so I think I'm done I do look tired um still cannot get the microphone to work. 
on the um, the other computer, and I don't know why. And my son's looked, and he can't work it out because it says it's connected, um, and everything's set up, but it, it just will not work, and I don't understand it. So I'm going to have to wait until either my grandson or my granddaughter comes at the weekend to get them to have a look at it because I can't work it out, my son can't work it out and I reckon it's it's got to be something very simple like um, something we haven't clicked, switch we haven't clicked or something but it's, it, it, it tells you that every, you know, that um, microphone is in use and everything but Clearly, it's not. Um, I might try it again later and see if I can um, see how it works if I move away a little bit and um, fiddle about with the set, with the volume control. So I might try it again later. Um, but in the meantime, I've got one microphone's been sent back because it wouldn't work, and it probably wouldn't work because whatever's wrong at the moment was wrong then. <laughs> so the microphone was probably perfectly all right. So it's something to do, something that we haven't done and um, we'll sort it out. Okie dokie, I'll be back later on when I'm dressed. Bye bye.